My name is William Allen. I'm an actor right now. Uh, I am a retired New Jersey State Correction Officer. Married, two wonderful kids. Uh, got into acting totally as a fluke. A friend of mine was going up to an audition, talked me into coming along, threw me in line with the rest of the non-union people. I got in, they pulled me in to read for a role, and it's gone from there. Basically, it started off as, as testing myself to see if I could do what these other people wanted me to do because I've never really been put in situations like that other than work where it's just monotonous. you got to do this, you've got to build this or whatever. And now it's trying to pull the emotional range into it, you know, uh, the, being able to show the depth of emotion that they need and, and things of that nature. And, and it's basically a challenge to myself. I'm challenging myself to do what I need to do to, to portray these roles. For me, sometimes it's very hard. Uh, I'm not a real emotional person. Uh, I don't show um, tears that often. It, it really takes a lot to get me to cry. Uh, anger, unfortunately, does come very quick to me, so if it's a role where I've got to be angry, I can manage to pull that off without too much problem. Uh, but the deep emotional side, I've really got to work at it. I've, I've really got to reach in and try to f find something in my life that just really ripped me apart and use that to, to portray those types of emotions. How important do you think it is to um, have a lot of yourself in a character? I think it's important um, because even though you're portraying somebody else and you want, and the director's telling you uh, he wants him to be this type of person. You still have to put some of yourself into it, or it's going to come off as totally fake. If you don't put yourself into it, to to some point, you're not going to be comfortable doing the role, and people are going to be able to tell that it's acting. It's not going to look real. Um, I try to do some background. Um, you know, I, I, I talk a lot with some of the other actors and I really read the script and study the script and I question the director and say, okay, what do you want this person to do? And then I go off on my own and, and study the script and rehearse like crazy and try to put as much, you know, of what they want into it while putting what I need to put into it, like I said earlier, to keep it real and and try to f actually almost put myself in that character's role to get inspired for it. You know, you, you've got to you've got to dig into that character and see what that really drives that character. Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, input, any input is good input, whether you choose to accept it or not. It's another point of view that you can draw on, you can utilize to maybe pull some more out of the character. Or, you know, somebody could tell you something and you're like, no, that's just totally wrong for this, for this part. But input is good. Any input is good, positive or negative, because you can use it all. You learn from it all. Farthest thing from my mind. I've never had any um, aspirations, dreams, desire to do this but uh, like I said it, it this is almost a drug it's addicting once you get into it and I mean it, I got addicted to it just from going and trying out for a part and being chosen to read um, when I got my first role I was like a kid in a candy store I was happy as could be for months um, but as far as aspiring or dreaming to do this when I was younger farthest thing from my mind. Um, until I got into acting, I didn't know that it would be as good as it is. 
the amount of producers, film writers, actors, the talent pool that is in this area is so deep and so huge, um, it's unbelievable. Everywhere you go, or that I've gone lately, I've come across another actor, a screenwriter, a producer, cameraman, I, sound people, they're everywhere. People that are very, very talented, they're just everywhere and it's unbelievable to me that there's this much talent in this area and unfortunately it hasn't been known up until now. Now it's starting to be known that hey Philadelphia, Southern Jersey, they've got a lot of talent, they've got talented people and we're starting to come into our own in the business. Um, seeing my kids and my wife happy, that, that makes me happy. If they're happy, I'm happy. Um, professional, getting a role, doing the absolute best that I can for that role and having the project succeed, succeed and know that I had a small part in the success of that. Um, not being able to produce what is needed of me. I'm very self-hypocritical. Um, I come down on myself very easily and if somebody wants me to do something and I can't do it, that really just gets under my skin. Step up to the plate and swing. That's all you can do. If you think you want to get into this business, keep an eye out on the computer or on the newspapers, radios. Anytime you hear that there's an open call and you think you want to try out for the part, step up and do it. And you don't know. You never know. You take your chance. I think there is, the actors themselves, no, not really, but I think people's perceptions are mostly uh, changed be because of the amount of coverage on the news, coverage on the computer. Um, actors years ago had the same problems actors have today, but it's just more in the limelight. It's, uh, you know, if an actor 20, 30 years ago had gotten stopped for speeding, it would have been nothing except for maybe in a little town where he got stopped for speeding. Let a, a name player actor get stopped for a traffic violation today, it's all over the national news. There's a lot more pressure on today's actors to make sure that in public that, you know, they perform absolutely perfect so that there's no chance of, you know, any bad publicity. Um, you know, I, it's, it's, a tough, it's a tough field because you're under scrutiny all the time. No, I think I could play just about any role. There are a few roles that I will not take, um, and that's personal choice. Um, but as far as a role that I shouldn't take, no, I'd be open to try just about anything. I don't think there's anything that they shouldn't be involved in as far as uh, TV, video games, uh, things of that nature. I think the amount of time that they're involved in them could be uh, better used. Um, there's nothing wrong with video games. I play video games. There's nothing wrong with TV. I, I watch TV. I watch movies. I get on a computer. But at the same time, you also have to have other interests. Um, you have to be able to use your imagination, not, not rely on somebody else's imagination to fuel your life. You have to have your own imagination. You have to get out and do things on your own. Um, I spend a lot of time outdoors. I hunt, I fish, um, you know, I do all kind of things like that. Um, I don't let my imagination go stagnant. I constantly think of things, you know, imagine scenarios, and, and, and it makes you a more well-rounded person, I believe. Uh, my father. I mean, he's one of the higher powers in my life. Uh, he was a military man. Uh, he told me, if you're going to do something, do it right. Do it right the first time. And I try to, I try to live up to that. Uh, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right, is, is what his motto was. And he instilled that on me. 
that if you're going to do something, if you're going to take on a job, whether it's an actual job as a profession or a hobby or a job as taking a role as an actor, do the best that you can at it and do it right. Go to the auditions, study your lines, and pay attention. And not to sound old, which I am, mind your manners because you never know who you're talking to. The guy could be dressed in ratty jeans, beat up tennis shoes, and a ratty looking t-shirt. It could be the producer. You don't know who you're talking to at any time. Uh, so treat everybody the way you want to be treated. And that's about the best advice I can give. My name is William Allen. I am an actor.